god. It is week three, you guys, of Bachelor in Paradise. Yeah. It's part one, and there is quite a bit to uncover. There's more heartbreak, and there's also some really happy, good times. I know. But we're going to get to and, all of and it. just to let you all know, the lights and the internet have gone out. So we have not really finished watching um, Bachelor in Paradise part one. We're we have. There. It's Did finished. Yes, it's completely. It's, she she didn't remember, oh, okay. but yes, we have oh, okay. finished it right. completely. Okay. The internet is down, so you guys yeah. forgive us. It's and been a little janky off. for the past couple of days, so yeah. we've been having some issues with that, oh. with uploading. So we're not uploading as much, but we're gonna get it together, you guys. Don't worry. Yeah. But it's Mary and Amma. Be back to the like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. These day we are reviewing Bachelor in Paradise week three, part one. And we're going to get right into you guys. Rodney is shocked. He is flabbergasted. He is upset that Teddy has basically left. So I thought Brandon. they would have been a cute couple. But Brandon quickly Cold grabbed his over. boy. Told him, don't worry about emotionally unstable women. Brandon I have learned that. from Met. I have learned from Michelle. And you don't want that heartbreak, my brother. You go to somebody who is emotionally stable. Yes, yes. And, and because you, the way he... about the big ones out here, the baddies. Let me tell you about the bad. I thought it was so cute. The way he was talking about... Let me tell you about the baddies. Brittany, let me tell you about right? this person, this, this person, this person. Who did he call? He said Britney. He said Britney. Who he else? said um, um, Jill. He, she's so Jill, dope. Right. There was another person he um, called. I think he said Lace. Maybe he didn't. No, I can't remember. Lace. No, not Lace. Who yeah. was it? I can't remember, but he called a few people. Yeah. And he's like, well, she's a cutie. She has a great smile. Da, yeah. da, whatever. Yeah. So he quickly said, listen, my boy, we're not even going to focus yeah. on Teddy. Because it was like he wanted to know what had happened he or whatever. No, and Brandon go. wasn't even going to talk uh -uh, about it. He has uh -uh. learned from Michelle. Yes. I'm not wasting my time on women who don't know what they want. Yes. yes. Got to keep it moving. You have to be confused because then you wouldn't get your blessings. Let me you tell mean, you, Look Rocky, at me. I got look. my blessing. Okay. She's emotionally stable. And guess what? Uh, we are not sharing women. Yes, no we're so not doing serene. that no more. It's Don't uh, you look at my woman. Thank no. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> he made it clear. That, that is all clear. mine. Yeah, he ain't playing no game. Yeah, so mm. he's talking about the baddies or whatever, stuff like that. You know, he decided not to use his date card. He decided we're just going to stay in or whatever. Yes. Jill was trying to talk to him and all yes. that stuff. I don't really think he's vibing with Jill, but I also don't feel like he's vibing with Lace either. But she went and pushed up on him. They ended up making out in the corner, which I was shocked. I, I did not say even, you're not feeling Lace. I don't know if he's feeling her like that. The conversation seemed dry, if I'm well, being honest. The thing is, she made it known. Like, she went to him, and I think that was kind of like a turn-on. Like, let me hold this woman here and kiss her and start my bachelor in Paris. <laughs> what I need to get on the bachelorette season. Guess what? I'm about to get some stuff here. But I don't know if but, I see them going the long term. I really don't. I Do mean, you? You know, I I will not be surprised. Because she asked, she asked him, she's like, well, I've seen the women you've been with, I guess, you know, or the women you like, like Teddy and Michelle, which I think she was trying to say, I've seen Do you biracial. Do white women? Right. I've seen the biracial women. And he said, Do you look at my history, it would be you. That's what he's trying to say, like, you know. You will be whatever. So, okay. So, let her know that, look, where I'm concerned, you know, you're you're right there. And he kind of, like, looked at her, you know, took that opportunity to look at her. So, obviously, the chemistry is there. And I like the way Lace dumped Jacob with his nonsense. Well, she self, never was feeling him. rubbish and all this stuff. And, you know, she look, look, listen, Lace is a little older. I don't know if she's either late 20s or early 30s, but she's a little older, okay? She knows exactly what she wants, okay? And she is making it known. And I wouldn't be surprised if that wouldn't be flattery. Not only flattery, but I catch it to, to, to um, what's his name, Rodney. You know what I'm really? saying? I don't because know. I think what Lace is looking for, Lace is looking for a man who is stable financially, which I do believe Rodney is. She's looking for a man who is easy on the ass, which Robert, Rod, Rodney is. And she's looking for a gentleman. She's looking for a nice guy because she has been dealing with losers. Right? So she's looking for a nice guy, which she finds all the stuff in Rodney. Now, remember we always talk about the quote-unquote nice guy. The way Rodney went and did a little smackaroo on her, I said, well, I guess nice guys are out. <laughs> because you were surprised at the whole kissing session by the water, right? 
Well, like well said, there's always a very odd couple in paradise that you wonder how the hell did they come together? And they are truly that. Because I don't know how Rodney is going for Lace. Maybe Rodney is not the nice guy that we thought. What are you talking about? Remember how we always say the nice guys? Well, I don't feel like Rodney's that. I actually do feel he's like a genuinely good guy. Yeah, I do. I do too, actually. But we'll see. You don't feel that? No, I actually do. I actually think Rodney's a good guy. But uh, the way he was holding Lace, you know? Like, well, I mean, Brandon's a good guy, man. but the way he holds Serena, you Serena. know that man. He yeah. know what he doing. Right, but the thing is, I mean, Rodney circled her whole waist and brought her in and kept his hand there as they made out at the beach with people watching them. Like, that has... You know, like this is another Rodney that we are seeing, that we, we haven't seen, okay? I actually and checked Lace, out, so I wasn't well, looking at the body language. I love All the I way. saw was her thong, and I said, my God, why? Listen, I, I said, poor way, Jill. I love the way Lace rubbed herself, moved herself. She knew Rodney had chosen Jill, right? And Teddy, she didn't care. She said, let me let it be known, because I can't hang with this foolish man right here. I got three things that I want with my man. Like she told him, she went someone who was six foot. She talked about the how the person look. He's not six foot though. He said he's just there. He said I I, I just made. You that. mean that you're five ten, Rodney? Maybe, maybe he said he almost there or whatever. But she liked him. Cause she's and taller she, than him, isn't she? No, she she's actually she actually is not taller than him. Actually, so I will say I I, don't I know love if I gave, them you yet. know what it gave me like women woman vibes. You know what I'm saying? When she skipped out of herself right up there, up to him. And Jill, you stand over there like a little girl. You don't want to go make your whatever known. You're waiting for a Kira type, the, the thing that happened with Romeo, remember? Remember, Jill, you still haven't learned from the lesson? You needed to go and talk to Rodney with a quickness. But Lace beat you to it as you were sitting on the beach gossiping with other gossipy ninnies who are single. Girl. You probably may have missed your chance, okay? But he is feeling lace. He is. And I'm telling you, lace, she's trying to find herself a husband. And Rodney is ready to find himself a wife, okay? So he's looking for somebody who knows what they want. And she's not bad looking either. You see? I think Rodney's just looking for a good woman. And who's not bad looking? A decent enough person. And she wants to date a decent guy who is smart has conversation unlike that guy jacob all the conversation Jamie ain't about he, nothing yeah and she saw that really quick after he chose her he was just like she got up from that the little laying down that they were doing like douchebag <laughs> like was, that's what she called him in the confessional like she just that was it but now she find a ronnie man got money man got looks uh and he's a gentleman Oh, shoot. Forget all these people. Let me run and find me my Rodney. And you know she has been in paradise before I hear. Yeah. So she is not wasting her time. And she's getting up in age. So she's damn sure not wasting her time. So I love that. It gave me grown woman vibes. That's what it gave me. Like, okay. even when she spoke to Logan and Logan messed up her name. And she's like, okay, you're messing up my name. Like, she could see the game. Yeah. Mess up my name on purples, okay? It's not loose, but okay. <laughs> Laughed about that because she's like, thank you. You made my job easier. I don't have to worry with you. Yeah. She went, spoke to J Jacob. Oh, okay. Ain't got to talk to you either. You're a douchebag. Now she's by Rodney, and she ain't wasting no time. Well, let's talk about Genevieve and Justin. Genevieve has really Ooh. been quite interesting this, this was season. A hot one. Yes, it was. It so was she hot. came back from her dates with Aaron. They're holding hands. That tall hunk of a man on it. Mm. Oh. She went. She was holding his hand and all that I stuff. Know. Whatever. He pulled Justin aside, to basically to, to him. tell him that it's over. That's really what she did. And my thing is, Genevieve, I'm so happy you're going with Aaron because Aaron is taller. He's cute. He's he is in bigger, shape. He is ripped. He is a big teddy bear. And he is fit, honey. He is fit. He is fine, honey. Oh, my God. Listen, if I had a tall, 
muscular like teddy bear who's also sweet and like has that deep and he's so sweet. listen he's so i will sweet. be a koala bear and i will climb that tree and i will not be hopping down okay <laughs> Give me my tree and I am done for life, okay? <laughs> I will grab Aaron and it will be a wrap. Now we don't have to stay in paradise. Where's the ring at? Where's the ring? Hello, where's the ring at? But I'm happy. She went to go talk to Justin, whatever. Yeah. But of course, he decided to be a little manipulative. Mm -hmm. And he decided that, oh, let me go ahead he and... He to beg her for a hug. Oh, the donkey. Why the dog has no to tail? beg her for a hug. And so she was like, okay, gave him a hug. Then he begged her for a kiss and she she gave him a kiss you know and i was just like genevieve and then Why? she got out of that she went to go talk to aaron she was crying but what i loved about aaron first of all when when, when james said oh she says she'll wait for you he's like give me that uh soap that makes you smell good the smells good. yeah i thought he it was so smell, funny he to smell good for her like and okay. I, you know i was literally <laughs> asked that he was getting ready or whatever i was like oh my god aaron please make sure that you go out there shirtless you yes. know Put a little baby oil on your, you know, abs mm -hmm. and your chest or whatever. Mm -hmm. Let her know what she missing. Yes. And he did just that, honey. He did just that. And I was like, oh. And he was smelling Thank good. Thank you for the view, so Aaron. Nice. Yeah. But I thought it was nice. She yeah, went there was. and she was so apologetic. Yeah. And I always feel like when you screw up with somebody, it's always best to apologize right then and there yeah. and you versus then you're that. doing it later on. Because yeah. then you're letting me go nuts in my mind. Exactly. Oh my God, did they sleep together? Yeah. Oh my God, is it over between yeah. us? You know? Yeah. But she came right away. She said, I'm so sorry. I don't even know what happened. And it was but she beautiful. told him that this man acts. He said, you know, but, you know, basically he, but he, he said, was. you know, what? Am I going to get a kiss for my birthday? He said, birthday? What do you mean birthday? And she said, it's his birthday he said that's a weird effing thing to ask yeah it was like a weird <laughs> he, said, sounds mani he said that's manipulative yeah. and it was mani it manipulative was. he knew those two men that. were looking at her exactly. and he did not want to be left high and dry exactly for everybody to know that she dumped that you me got dumped yes exactly yes so I'm happy that she told him and said yeah. that it wasn't like I even wanted to do it or whatever, right. but he asked me. And as a woman, sometimes it's so hard to say yeah. no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm happy that he was so sweet. You know, you he don't was hurt so somebody's kind. feelings, but you know something? Women, we gotta learn to say no. I am like that too. Yeah. Well, until I turned 50, I was like that too. Like hard for me to say no, you know, to someone. So don't feel bad if this is you and you. it's hard for you to say no. Yeah. But learn. Just say no. And no is a complete sentence. No. Period. After that. That's it. No. Yeah, because he didn't kiss you on your birthday. Just no. He did it. He gaslit you. He disrespected you. And he, and gave he was trying to break up with you. Exactly. Because we'll he wants to be with Victoria exactly. until she started making out with Jacob in the corner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it would have been like, no, you don't. Just like how you exactly. treat me on my birthday, I'm going to treat you the same way. Exactly. Bye, loser. loser. My man taller, he finer, and he chocolatier mm -hmm. than you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Ho. Uh, <laughs> so, I thought it was yeah, beautiful was that beautiful. he was so and kind, he, even though he and was he comforted hurt, her. Yeah, he was comforting her. Yeah, and then the next morning, she just came. She sat, came. This one sat on his lap was like kissed him and, and, all kissed that stuff. Her and all that stuff. And then Justin was like this. He was right back there. <laughs> We have to take a picture of that. that that's actually the stuff. thumbnail, yes. you guys. Because that was hilarious. The way he was sitting looking. Mean you know, mugging he her from the skewing. back. I had the nerve to go lie to Andrew and, and Oh, and well, Michael. she broke up with him, whatever. And yeah. she told him, I'm sorry I have high expectations that you are not able to meet. And he's like, <laughs> He was like, wow, Genevieve. That is disrespectful. We need Just that disrespectful. And then says, high expectations. Uh, just stayed unable to meet yes <laughs> yes that sorry you hilarious. can't meet them oh well you know what i'm saying is it will always be your expectation will always be too high for a man that don't want you exactly so when a man starts telling you about how you this is too high and this is that and this is that you know he ain't the one for you i mean the way aaron just holds her the way he's kissing her the way he's loving on her letting her know i'm here for you and that's yes, it yes it's just Beautiful. It is beautiful. Honestly, so I was, yeah. Love it. That was so funny. Was yeah. Fun. So I was yeah, very was happy about that and everything. That. I'm happy she dropped that that um with that toaster strudel and she got herself a full creme de la creme breakfast meal. Mm. And mm -hmm. that is Aaron. With yes. his abs and oh mm. and his height. Mm. Oh 
So do you want to talk about his his other bro, um, James, James and Shanae? Shanae basically, I love that Shanae and Genevieve are close now. I, know, I thought it was, was awesome. A wonderful woman. I love to see women making up. And you know, but that was because of Aaron and yeah, James. And that was so cool that they brought them together, even though they know they hated each other. And yeah. now they're friends because they're they're su- they're nice people. I was Aaron shocked. I would say that about Shanae, but I've seen nice a much guys. better side yeah. about of Shanae. But yeah. they're really just really just genuinely good men. Yeah, with beautiful bodies. Uh, yeah, and and very easy on the eyes. Yeah, <laughs> God has to forgive me for lusting, <laughs> but that man is fine. Yeah. I and mean, it's fine. And um, but she said that she's not. Logan. Yeah, because she was so angelic with Genevieve that she's not feeling anything with Logan. He's not yeah. assuring her. He's not being there for her yeah. or whatever, which I thought was unfortunate. But and when she goes to him, because I told you the way he deals with those two other women, he is he has a an a-hole. a-hole in him exactly. And so when she goes, what does he do? Try to gaslight her. Yeah, but you went out on a date. I mean, you went out on the he date. He said, my thing is, I, you know, was, I was feeling so secure in our relationship that I would have never even poked my head out to even go on a date. So she wanted him to say no? She wanted her to say no? Yes, basically. But she was just like, well, you know, the thing is, even if that were to happen, you know, sometimes we have tests or whatever, you should have been assuring, which he should have been assuring. Exactly. He should have been like, it's okay. He should have been like what Aaron was. Even though you just kissed the man over there, yeah. I'm still going to let you know that I'm there for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he was not. So you sat down there, didn't say nothing to her or whatever, mm-hmm. and girl, cut your losses. Because at the end yeah. of the day, he's an a-hole. Yes. And, you yeah. know, he has a tendency to be that way. Hey, so he can, can be a-holes that. with other women. It's he just a matter of time that he's going to be an a-hole to you. I'd rather you go with James, because, I mean, even though, I, I don't know, it's And I'm shorter. sorry, James, if you don't want, if they don't want you, there are other nice women right there who will be very happy to have you. Absolutely, because he like, is fine as well. With, yeah, look at what happened with Brandon. Now he found he's serene. He found his woman. Everything happened for mm-hmm. a reason. Mm-hmm. And I cannot wait to see them have beautiful babies, to have a beautiful marriage, mm-hmm. and to see him get on one written knee. But I do, I think, I think Genevieve and Aaron end up engaged. But I remember when they were doing like the engagement, um, um, engagements or whatever, uh-huh. I saw somebody really tall, um, like kissing down on a woman with long hair. And I think that was Genevieve. Really? I hope really? oh it's Genevieve goodness. and I'll Aaron. I'm so happy for Genevieve if that happens. That would yeah. be wonderful. That would really be great. Yes. But, um, what is it? she deserves it. Yeah. But I think Jared and Ashley, they did go on a date, which was awesome. Jared um, and Ashley. Oh, yes, I they went on a date. That was so cute. And I really, you know, usually I'm always saying that women should not, I don't think women should pursue men. Mm-hmm. You know, I really don't. But in this case, it worked out for her, yeah. and I'm happy for them. And also my thing is, like, I'm sure he knows that he's put her through enough wahala <laughs> to last a lifetime. So he actually... He loves her. He's talking to her about yeah. how much you've made me a better man. And even when it seems like she wants she to put herself to down, he lifts her yes. up yes. and all that stuff. And I just thought it was just beautiful. I love I the day they were crying, laughing about their journey and yeah. everything. And I just, I'm just happy for her. Yeah, that's you know, beautiful. rarely do you see the woman that wants a man for the longest time. I she know. actually ends up with him. With him, yeah. And he actually is now being really amazing and sweet and kind to her. I, yeah. I, I, I sent myself a YouTube video a very long time about how they even came together. I oh, need to watch it to, oh. and see how their story came out because I never saw them working out. Yeah. So I'm still shocked till today. Yeah. Because I saw all the seasons when they were when was over him and everything and he yeah. was not there or whatever. But it doesn't matter because yeah. now they're married. They're yeah. married. They're married. So, so beautiful. Yes. And I love the way that Wells told their story. I thought it was quite hilarious. It was hilarious. Let's talk about this fool Which named one? Michael. Oh, boy. We said it. You know, yes, I was saying he was a zaddy, but he is short, and he does not have his shit together. <laughs> and he's not cute anymore. <laughs> yes, I did say that in the privacy of my home, but he's not his... What he did was not cute. No, it you know what I'm saying? And you know, I always had an issue with Sierra him. and stick your tail still back there. That's why I, I, I respected such an issue. Teddy. I respected Teddy. She knew she liked Rodney. Yeah. But she did not want to be there after she dumped Andrew and start dating Rodney in front of him. Yeah. So that's why she really left. But you, Michael, even though you are older, 
than her. Almost <laughs> double her age. You went to Sierra and um, stayed there to get a rose from somebody not named Sierra. And she left because she really liked you and she, she will not have been able to handle seeing you with someone else and she didn't want to be with anybody else. But Sierra... You should have stayed. I think she should have stayed. You never Give know. yourself a day. You're the one who you are literally in. You literally have the power because yeah. you have the roses. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And Don't choose him. Choose somebody else. Yeah, that's what I would have done or whatever. You never know. Maybe you and Rodney well, she should have gotten something going. That's what you I know, was thinking. Or who else is? Or what's it? Andrew. Mm -hmm. Andrew would have been exactly. nice. Exactly. Stuff. That's what I was thinking, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like Michael, it was very wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel I like he very knew. cautious with Michael because I Same. felt like he was using using her. And we even said it. When yeah. he sat down there with her or whatever, he was like, you know, my fear is using somebody to get myself ready. Yeah. And we said that was a red flag. Yeah, that's really what he was doing. With her. Yeah. But he wants to say it so that he will say, well, she knew that. And I feel the reason why he's staying is because there's someone else he likes. There. The right there, better than her. And you left, and you gave him a wonderful opportunity to go do that. And he ain't got to look in your face each day. He can do it freely and enjoy himself. Yeah, the I fact that he, say, he sat down there and he let her go or whatever and all this stuff, I felt like he should have said, you know, Sierra, I want you to come here Find somebody who will be good for you. Because yeah. I'm actually not ready to yeah. find love. Yeah. So there's no point in me being here. But you sit here. I'm going to go. That is, that That's is, what he should have done. If, he, if he's really having this grief. And I am not like putting down that he is not grieving. But I feel in this particular instance. He, he was. used his grief to cover his ass wipe behavior. Because it was ass wipe behavior. You knew when you met her. Don't that tell she was me not don't somebody ass with your 38-year-old self. You knew, and you all get down in the comment, tell me that a man don't know when he first see you. He, he has put you in a category. Yeah. He definitely knew. He knew that it probably is not going to work. Yeah. It has not been just two days that this man knows that it's not going to work. But he told her he finds something missing. In the confessional, you were trying to serve, tell the producer, I guess, like, oh, you know, she's great, she's this, she's that. It's just that, you know, that I'm grieving, I'm still in grief, blah, blah, well, blah. Well, if you're still grieving, why are you still her, there? Why are you still yeah. there if you're grieving and you're not ready? You tell her there's something missing in y'all's relationship and you all will be best as friends. What's missing is that you don't see her as the stepmother or future wife. doesn't see you in the future with him. No. Period. And Sierra could Period. even tell because she was like, even when he walked up to her or whatever, some of that, she was like, it took you, it, it's about time you come yeah. see me or whatever. Mm -hmm. and he was like, no, I didn't want to interrupt your talking or whatever. And even she said, well, after he had dumped or whatever, she said, I gave him the consolation because, you know, I wanted him to know that his wife is always there with him and his son or whatever and all this stuff. So she fell for the grief thing. And, but she knew that it was coming. So she's like, you know, even if he dumps me, at least let him have this gift. Yeah. She's, she's just a sweetie. Really just a sweetie but and i feel I'm like sure what he did he did her wrong comes. she's going to connect the dots his ass out. yes and i'm sure after he is booed up with somebody else mm -hmm. she's going to realize that he never really liked her like that anyway no. he he she was a placeholder a placeholder oh my god you'll be so awful and i honestly if he gets feel with someone when like somebody else like britney or and he engages her else and he engages them she's going to feel so bad because she's going to be like wow they were there the whole time and he actually wanted them as opposed to me. And the issue that, you know, but that's why I feel like young women, do not waste your time on no man with no kids. Keep your basket wide open. Mm -hmm. Put your eggs in different baskets. Mm -hmm. And leave one egg. Mm -hmm. Do not put all of your 30 eggs in one basket. No. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Do not Until do that. Until that person has engaged you. Yes. Don't, don't kiss him. Don't do a damn thing with any of them. Yeah. Because, I mean, you have to protect yourself, man. It's bad. really about I protecting feel bad yourself. For her. I really do feel bad for her because she was, you know, he wanted yeah. to see other people. He was tired of being booed up with you. He wanted to and explore his her. options. Yes. Talking about how it was getting too serious and mm -hmm. this, that, and the third, or whatever. I want to slow down. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sorry, but I'm not buying that. When yeah. a man is really ready for somebody, yeah. all that shit goes At out the years window. Old, he knows exactly what he wants. He knows the kind of woman he wants to marry. He knows how he wants her to look. He knows how he wants her. Like, he knows. He's 38 years old. He knows. And you don't get to... You know what? Like you, you just don't, you just don't get to do that at all. It's like um, I, that guy. Remember that guy, Mr. Combs? In, yeah. In um, what was that show? Courtship. When he was trying to use his bisexual thing. Yeah. As a way of to cover. Not, not exactly. Uh, to cover the fact that he had been deceitful. Yeah. He had not given her full disclosure. You know. That's the same thing this one is doing, using the grief as a cover. So, yeah. But yes, but you know what my thing is with Michael? He has always been a little bit of a red flag for me. Even on Katie season. Yeah. Um, when Oh, he was on Katie season. Yeah. This man has been around. Katie. I'm talking about Katie. You know the girl with the vibrator who this was on? This man has been around. You mean he did The Bachelorette? Yes. Now he's on Bachelor in Paradise? Yeah. What other show is he going to be on? I don't know, but you know Katie Thurston. He probably wants to be I remember her. Yes. So, I didn't know Michael has been around like that. Remember, you guys, he, it was down to him. It was him and two other guys, so she, that was his top three. She had two a-hole choices, and then she had Mike. He ended up leaving because he said, oh, my son said something to me, and he really misses me, and this, that, and the third, and I have to go to him. I felt like that was a red flag. Because mm. my thing is, even when you have found that special person, yeah. even when you know that this person is meant for you, yeah. you're not going to let anything stop you from at least solidifying it. Yeah. You had two weeks left yeah. in the thing. Really a week and a half. Wow. And you decided to let me leave now because my son is talking about how he misses me. No, boo. Mm. You left because you did not see Katie in the long term. You didn't. You didn't see her there. That's mm -hmm. why you decided to leave. You could easily tell your son, I'm going to be back I, in 10 I'm days. Tell you what Don't worry, wants. I'm bringing something or whatever. Like, you could have literally, if you really saw her as your future, you would not have left. Michael I thought it was all that he left. That's why he went to Bachelor in Paradise. I believe that Michael, if he doesn't find his woman here, he actually wants to be the Bachelor. Oh really? That's why he went so far in Katie's season. That's why. That's why he didn't use the. I son always had yet. an issue with that—the fact that he yeah. left her because of the child. Not that you know. I know I'm not a parent or whatever. But I felt like even with Courtney and Travis or whatever, even though Penelope and her children didn't really weren't really feeling the whole Travis thing, she kept going because this is going to be her happiness regardless. Y'all yeah. gonna leave me at some point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she saw that through. And the, having the kids come around. Yeah. You're almost going to be home. You've yeah. been there all this time just yeah. for you to leave when you find the love of your life. Yeah. That's when you decide you want to leave. Odd. I found that very I think odd. I wanted to stay all the way so that... But she was left with two narcissists usually in Usually the bachelor is the one that... Um, they usually like maybe the, one of the first three, I think. You know, one of the first three or four that are... You know what I'm saying? moved on you know like they choose a bachelor from that's what i feel yeah this man want to be the bachelor hey bachelor nation mike wants to be the bachelor that's what he really wants to be yeah he wants to have a pick of different women that's what he wants yeah that's what i felt yeah so he could find his person so he used the sun before now he's using the grief card that's what he's doing to be an ass wife yeah. Yep. Sorry, that's so just how we feel. Nice Y'all can debate us in the comment section, but my thing is, you just you don't do certain let us things. Let know what you think about that. But yeah. yeah. And it's Mary and Anna. Be ready to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below your thoughts. Bye. Oh, wait, we didn't talk about Brandon. Oh my days. God! Yes, Brandon Sorry. and Serena. He beautiful. looked at her when he looked at her come down or whatever. He saw his whole life with this woman flash yes. before his eyes. He, he saw, saw her, her pregnant, going on dates. Saw her he saw her married. pregnant. Yes. He saw them getting married. I he know. saw her walking out the aisle. He saw them old and gray. He, he saw, saw them, them going, well, taking their kids to college. Yeah. He saw everything. He saw and that's why he started bawling, man. Yeah. It and so it was just so and she said, beautiful. No one has done that 
Well, Nobody has ever looked at me like that. You make me feel loved. You make me feel deserved. Yeah. And you make me feel happy. Yeah. And just the way he is with her. Yeah. That could have been you, Michelle. But it, it couldn't will. have been. You know why? Because you're emotionally yeah. unstable. Yeah. He, he could have. She, Michelle needs some work. It couldn't have. Yeah. I, I'm happy that, that he found his person. He found his person. After all that hoopla, all that yeah. heartbreak, he found the one for and him. I remember Serene. Serene was very put together even during Clayton season. Yeah. She pretty much stayed out of too much of the drama and all that stuff. Yeah. So, I mean... It's just beautiful, man. I was so happy for oh that. Was. Oh my god, why is this I'm falling in love with you? And then she said just, it too. Oh my goodness. Just the way he talks, you know, that rasp in his voice. That's so beautiful. Brooke Russell's I'm crazy about you. Who's <gasps> Brooke Russell's? I think that's her middle and last name. Oh, I just thought it was really beautiful and I'm just so happy. You know what's funny? She's also a school teacher. That is so like funny. Michelle was. That is so funny. Yeah, but I'm happy for them. That and was she really was so just happy. Both of them so happy. They're gonna get engaged for sure. They're gonna get married for sure. I mean, the way Brandy came, remember when he came out? He said, "Ladies," and then he looked serene. Can I talk with you like right away? He was ready. Yeah. He wasn't playing any games. He knew grown what he was coming man for. Grown energy. Man. Yes. Yes, y'all. Yes, it was yes. a thing of beauty. It was. Yes, y'all. But it's it Mary. And Amma. Um, uh, Leave us like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Bye.